Hey, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. Today we have Jeremy Moskowitz. You probably already know of this man. GP Answers, the founder of Policy Pack, Group Policy, MVP. This guy is the bee's knees. We're gonna talk about how you can take your already, you know, you've already got Active Directory, now let's add some muscle to it. And this is the guy that we're gonna to talk to. Well, thank you. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you kind of a better together story. But this video, we're gonna do a setup of getting Policy Pack ready. So if you decide that you like what you see in these series of videos and you wanna try Policy Pack and or PDQ Deploy better together, this is the video number one in order to, for you to get started. So let me give you the last up of where we're at with our setup here. We've got Active Directory and Group Policy ready to go. Um, I just wanna sort of show how we've got um, our setup here, actually, here we go, move this to the top. So in Active Directory, we've already got our users and computers. Let me show you where they live just so you can see how to follow along. So for instance, our users are hanging out under standard users. We've got user one and user two. And if we look at Deadwood computers, workstations, standard computers, we've got computer one and computer two. We try to make it very complicated. So we've got these two computers and two users, and these are who we're gonna manage. Now, the first thing we want to do is show you kind of a before shot before we show you an after shot. So if you take any given group policy object, and it doesn't really matter, call it A, it doesn't matter. If we look inside, you've seen this a million times. You know there's the user side and computer side. There's policies and preferences. And what we just said is we're going to add a little muscle to this by adding the policy pack node. This is super easy. You probably want to do this step by hand. You could use PDQ Deploy to do it. But just to make things easier for this demonstration, I just want to go to the download of Policy Pack, which you get by uh, contacting Policy Pack, first of all. Um, then you go to the admin console for all MSI add on products. Here it is. And you just install the admin. And I'm pretty sure this machine is x86, right? No, no, it's 64. Oh, 64. Okay, great. And it doesn't matter which one you have, it'll work. And this step takes a moment or two. And once this is done, you've increased your ability to create new directives inside your group policy editor. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to finish. And that's it. Just takes a moment and we're ready to go. So we'll go ahead and close that. Now let's look at the after shot. So the after shot would be... <laughs> the Jenny Craig shot. Exactly. And here's the turkey. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and take it out and take a look. And there we go. We now have a, a new node here in the group policy editor enabling you to, to do more stuff. And we're going to cover what that stuff is in this series of videos. We're not super concerned about the stuff right now. We're just sort of getting set up. That's thing number one. I'll go ahead and close this. Step number two is one of the superpowers that Policy Pack has is the ability to manage Flash, Firefox, Java, Internet Explorer. Heck, you name it, we've got a way to manage it. So we have these definitions or pack files that there's a handful of ways to do it, but the best way is to get them on one domain controller, which is to say your central store for Policy Pack. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to take the Policy Pack stuff, and I've already got all the packs listed here. You can see we've got over 400, wow. know, 430 yeah. as, of this, as of this recording packs. And we're going to go to our... There's your sys sysball in Venice. That's gonna, the one. We're going to use Venice. Venice. So I'll move this bugger to the left, this bugger to the right, and I'll just pick a couple of guys just to show you how quick and easy it is. Let's say you wanted to do um, Java 877. I'm just pulling this one out of my ear here. All right. So we'll go ahead and go to the sysvol domain name policies. You might already have an existing what's called policy definitions folder. Now that's Microsoft. Policy pack is going to be, I know, wait for it, this is super complicated. And if you're, if you're lost pack. by creating a folder, you probably need a couple of other videos. Yeah, this is, this is not the tool for you. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and create the policy pack folder and drag and drop in one of our pack definition files. And now look at that, you'll be able to manage the heck out of Java 877. If you want to take a, a WinZip or something like that, let me go ahead and find it. Uh, WinZip, I don't know, 14 to 17 is a good, Good one. Go ahead and copy that guy right there. And that's it. If you want to you know, pick and choose the ones you want, uh, it's super easy to do. Let's go ahead and go back to the after shot again. We'll go to AAA and take a look at that one more time. And if we take a look, if we go to user or, com or computer, policy pack. Take a look at application settings manager, which is the thing we're going to spend some time on our first videos. Right click new application. There we are. Those are the packs we just dragged okay. in and ready to go. If we want to manage the heck out of say WinZip, which we'll probably do in our next video, you just double click it and we'll cover this in the next video. But we've, we've now officially set up a handful of packs. So if you want to do Flash, Firefox, Java, etc., you just drag the right pack file in and you're ready to go. That's, that's it. There's one more step mm -hmm. and that's where he's going to come in, which is you need to deploy 
are a moving part, that client-side extension, to enhance your group policy experience on your endpoints. And you're going to cover how to get, yeah. get well, that yeah, deployed. We'll get, we'll get that out there. So we're yep. going to use PDQ Deploy. Um, it's a free download. Uh, we're going to show you uh, using the, uh, the enterprise-level version. Uh, pardon me. You can close that right out. We're done with that. Okay. Um, but if you're using the free version, you're just going to need to, to do uh, two packages if you have both 64 and 32-bit targets. But I'm just going to create a new package here. We'll call this policy pack um, CSE. CSE, the yep. client-side extensions. Perfect. And our step one, it's an install step. This is where you choose your MSI, your EXE files, your batch files, etc. And we are going to go out to, I have this on a file share somewhere here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Sorry yep. about that. There we go. And we'll do the 64-bit for right now. It's an MSI, so there's probably no other, there's no other uh, properties that you need to add. We're just going to hit save yep. on that. There's our policy pack. And uh, we'll go ahead and deploy. Obviously, you could choose, to, choose targets from, uh, you know, uh, Choose your Active Directory OU, et cetera. But since we know the names of these computers, we'll just do it for the sake of this. But you could pick your entire domain. Yeah, you could you pick cherry pick OUs. Yep. You can choose. You can choose targets from from Active Directory, PDQ Inventory, SpiceWorks, et cetera. We'll hit deploy, and now we can see. I didn't name that step, but it's okay. You can see that it's kicking off the client side extension install right away, and you know Jeremy's got those MSIs ready to go. It's a uh, it's, it's sweet. And the best part is, no reboot required. So once you get it deployed out there, Policy Pack is automatically working, ready to rock from moment zero. So you don't have to wait for a reboot or schedule a reboot. Mm -hmm. We're just ready to rock as soon as it's installed. And that's it. Policy Pack is fully deployed. We got it all ready to go. And we're ready to actually do some work with Policy Pack and PDQ. So see us on the next video. Yep. We'll talk to you later.